than a week after an arrest and the murder of a South Georgia beauty queen and teacher, law enforcement officers from several jurisdictions and the GBI are searching in an area near her Osceola home. With the help of anthropologists, they're going inch by inch looking for anything that might lead them to her remains. And Fox 5's Portia Bruner is live in Ben Hill County. Portia, this is day two of the search. Anything to indicate why they focused in this area? Well, what we know from yesterday uh, when GBI talked to us about this particular area, they said they came to this area because of information that they received from new interviews following the arrest of Mr. Duke. So that being said, you see that deputy there, he's from Ben Hill, his job to sort of watch the gate, people come in and out, he unlocks it, and they go about a half mile back into the Hudson Pecan Orchard. Uh, I want you to take a look at some of the video from earlier this morning. We were here uh, when just after 6 o'clock, a large convoy of GBI agents, law enforcement agents from uh, Osceola and Irwin County, as well as right here in Ben Hill, started arriving uh, to resume their search. Uh, as you said, Buck, uh, this is a, literally a grid search where you go inch by inch. They are focusing on an area, according to some neighbors we've spoken to who live sort of on the other side of this, uh, about a half mile from here, and it appears that they are digging, at least according to the neighbors that we have spoken to. Also had a chance to speak to someone this morning who was involved in the search for Tara Grinstead 12 years ago, back in October 2005 and in November when they were looking for her after she vanished from her home. He talked about what it was like then and now knowing that there's at least been an arrest. We searched a lot of areas. I mean, all out here, uh, all down below Osceola. Uh, Did you guys ever come to this orchard? No, they might have searched this orchard, but I wasn't on a search in this particular orchard here. What were you thinking when you heard they'd made an arrest? To me, it was a relief because uh, when you be, look for somebody as long as I did and wait that long to hear that there was an arrest, it was a, well, I would say a shock. That's certainly the sentiment of a lot of folks here in Ben Hill. They remember searching, uh, as this man did, searching this area and searching about 10 miles away in Osceola, where Tara Grinstead lived and worked as a high school teacher at Irwin County High School. Uh, as far as evidence, at this point, uh, the GBI only saying, well, as of yesterday, before the gag order in this case, that they have recovered evidence that's going to be analyzed by anthropologists. They say they've also recovered evidence uh, through interviews and other um, ways that they're not describing that further connects Ryan Dukes to the murder of Tara Grinstead. Again, they're keeping a lot of those details close to the vest, and at this point, we don't expect to hear anything further now that that gag order has been imposed. We're reporting live in Ben Hill County from Fitzgerald. Portia Bruner, Fox 5 News.